night in the city. The night is tonight, tomorrow night, or any night. The city is London. London town to see the Queen. Good morning, Duchess. Three days and nights with no word from you. I love you, Duchess. And if anybody says I love you just for your title, I'll Three days and nights. Busy man in a busy town. Thinking the most horrible thoughts. Seeing you lifeless in the gutter. Oh, you should have caviar for breakfast. Or oh, hiding in some cellar, running for your running life. Running me? <laughs> Harry Fabian never runs from anybody. Harry, you're not in trouble again, are you? Trouble? Here, look at this. What do you see? Why, it's a pill. That's right, it's a pill. Now watch, Mary, watch. One pill. One pill the size of a baby's fingernail. Drop into the tank of your motor car, it triples your mileage. Fabian's fuel feed. A box of 12 for half a crown takes you 12 times around the town. But well, where'd you get it? Out? Little Alf, the sixpenny chemist in Whitechapel. But does he know what he's got? No, no head for business. I'll just lock him away in an attic with his chemicals turning out pills by the ton. You mean you want to back this? Oh, that's what I want to talk to you about. From here on, Duchess, it's a life of ease and plenty for you. Now, all I need is 300 pounds to no. develop... But it's the biggest thing I've ever found, Mary. No. I've got it right here in the palm of my hand. No. For 300 quid, we can package 5,000 uh, boxes. Some no. for half a crown. That's a profitable... No! Order. You've got the money. You know you've got it. You've got it right here. Yes, yes, I've got it. Put it by, shilling after shilling. But not for this. Not for mad, get-rich-quick schemes. Oh, look, Mary, the this money's there it. for the day you come to your senses. Settle down to, no matter what, a, a grocer's, a, a tobacco shop, anything done in the light of day. Oh, listen, Mary, Harry, I... do you think I enjoy slaving night after night in a silver fox? Getting drunks drunker? But I'm sticking it out. Waiting for the day we can marry, lead decent, normal lives. I know, I know, That's what the money's for, and until then, we don't touch one penny of it. You don't understand, Mary. This is our big chance. Big chance? Oh, again? Big chance. Always a big chance. Last month, the Fabian Mail Order Company couldn't lose, but we lost 50 of the best. Before that, the Fabian Tourist Bureau, the Fabian Song Publishers. Ah, <laughs> what wasn't I going to have? The royal suite on the Queen Mary, a house in Mayfair. But this is different. It's a sure thing. It's always different. Now the Fabian fuel feed. A fortune with every pill. Yes, a fortune. Two fortunes. That's what I want and that's what I'll get. I'm through with mugs and spivs and dirt. One break, I'm out of the garbage cans for life. I'm in the higher brackets, a mister with a future. There he goes, they'll say, that's Fabian, that's Harry Fabian. One break, I'm hot as a rocket, shooting diamonds for sparks. Harry! Harry. Harry, darling. I want to be. 
be somebody. Oh, darling, darling. You're so unhappy. Always running, always in a sweat. Harry, remember them. Nice people. Nice to know and be with. Remember the plans they used to make? The kind of life they were going to live? Oh, Harry, how did we ever lose track of them? It wasn't so very long ago, not more than... than a million years ago. Oh, dear, don't you see? It isn't important just to be somebody. The important thing is to be with somebody. Someone who wants nothing better than, than to live and work by your side. Quietly. Peacefully. Oh, Harry, please. Getting late. Nasserus is angry with you. Hang Nasserus and the silver fox. I'm not going. You mean you're afraid to go into the street? What do you mean I'm afraid? I'm not afraid of anything. Made him a partner. Ten percent slice of the profits, but five pounds. Five measly quid to pay little Al for his chemicals. Now oh, the Welcher wants his money back. Five pounds for those pills. No business head, little Al. Wait here. with the usual disastrous results. Mary, get that siphon bottle there, quickly. The soda? Yes, hurry, hurry. Here. Oh! Don't just stand there, woman. Squirt, squirt. There. You're just in time to enjoy the most heavenly spaghetti dinner. Ah, oh, thanks. But I've just had breakfast, unfortunately. I admit it does look a little overdone. Oh, well, try again next week. Probably starve doing it, but I'll master it in the end, I promise. That's the thing that keeps us apart, you know. Your spaghetti? Yes, in a way. When I'm having my spaghetti, you're looking for your morning toast. Do you think we might ever arrange our day to meet somewhere around tea time? Come on, sit down. Oh, here, let me get these hideous little monsters out of the way. Oh, I think he's cute. She? Well, she's cute. The shops tell me it's the best-selling design I've given them so far. Discouraging. You're probably pleased as punch. Of course. Sit down and really be comfortable. Thanks, Adam, but I've got to get on to work. I've come to ask for a favor. Name it. Could you let me have three pounds until tomorrow? Help yourself. Punch the night bell. The old lady of Threadneedle Street is well stocked and quite generous. You know, it does look like the Bank of England. Well, it should. I spent half my youth reproducing it. <laughs> it's very good. Of course. <laughs> Wonderful. You're very clever, Adam. I am about unimportant things. How so? Thanks, Adam. I, uh, I happen to need this right now for... Well, I didn't expect them to deliver the... Sure. Harry's back. You knew that, didn't you? These walls, just one big happy family. He gets so excited, almost like a child. But you know, Adam, one has to fight not to get pulled in by his excitement. His ideas always have so much imagination. I know. Harry's an artist without an art. What does that mean? Well, that's something that can make a man very unhappy, Mary. Groping for the right lever, the means with which to express himself. Yes, he is that, isn't he? I like that, Adam. It's a very nice thought. Yes, but it can be dangerous. Oh, no, you don't. Not again. Every time you talk, you mix me up so I can't think straight for a week. Thanks, Adam. Anything. Anytime.
five pounds. Buy your partner out. Thanks. Good to be back to you tonight. Stop sulking. See you at the Silver Fox. All right. Trade must be slow. Slow? Disintegrating. <laughs> you need a fresh foundation. Thanks, Molly. Put it on my account. Will That's you? all right, my dear. I'll trust ah, you. There you are, Bert. Fresh, Harry. Off a crown. Don't mention it. And if you girls want to work for my husband, you've got to start off on the right foot. You must understand the rules. What he'll stand for and what he won't. First, no stealing from the gentleman while you're in the club. No wages, but generous commissions. Oh, yes, chocolates. Fancy boxes. We sell at two pounds. Isn't two quid a bit steep for a box of chocolates? They're hand-dipped, dearie. When the night's out, I buy them back from you. Evening, Phil. Well, need any help with that stuff? <laughs> Where have you been, dear boy? Well, I, I've... Uh, been having a to... pleasant holiday at Cam, or spending the weekend at Windsor Castle? I've been ill. Oh. Poor boy has been ill. What a pity. So you were. I read all about it in the Times. Mr. Harry Fabian, it said, is being treated by the court physician. Mr. Fabian, it is reported, is suffering from a highly inflamed imagination, a coupled by delusions of grandeur. Well, where's he been? Now, 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 Helen, mustn't be unkind. The dear boy has been at death's door. Well, I'm glad to see you're fully recovered. We were worried about him, weren't we, Phil? Indeed we were. It's getting late. Time for dear boy to get dressed and hop it. Hop it. Uh, take care of yourself, dear boy. Hey, Harry, three live ones, what's it worth to you? Depends on how much you know. Depends on how much you'll go. From Chicago, men's clothing business. One of them, the half-pint, kept on talking about a friend of his called Lamont he must write to. This here Lamont's in the motor supply business in something he calls the Loop. Good evening, sir. Good evening. The usual? If you please. It's good to have you back in London, sir. Thank you, Charles. Uh-oh. I beg your pardon. Does this wallet belong to one of you gentlemen? Why, no, it doesn't. Oh, good evening, Mr. Fabian. Oh, good evening, Emil. Someone must have dropped this. You'll soon come running for it, no doubt. Thank you, Mr. Fabian. <laughs> Happened to me once back in the States. Traveling from New York to San Francisco. Yeah. Change trains to Chicago, you know. Yeah. Darn if I don't lose my wallet. No. <laughs> Luckily, I knew a chap in the loop, motor supplies. A fella named Lamont. Lamont? Did you say Lamont? Oh, yes. You mean Stubby Lamont? Why, yes. Well, what do you know, Stubby Lamont? He said no. We were just talking about him. Yeah. Oh, wait till I tell Stubby. Yes, just wait. Oh, it's like meeting someone from home. Yes, that's quite a coincidence. Yes. Have a cigarette. Yes, have a cigarette. Oh, no, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Been in London long? Uh, just two days. Two days, eh? Yeah. On business? Well, what do you know? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> well, I'm sure your business will be a great success. <laughs> Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Say, uh, you boys surely don't plan to spend the entire evening here. Always open to suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> 
matter of fact, I do know of a place. Yeah? yeah. It's a bit naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but great fun. Yeah. Silver Fox, private club. Private club? Mm -hmm. Oh, here, you take my card. You'll be well taken care of. Why, thanks. That's sweet. Sure. Sure. That's a pleasure. Yeah. 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 Good night. Good night. Uh, when you write to Stubby, give him my best, will you? Uh, you bet. Sure, <laughs> you bet. Yeah. Good night. Good night, honey. This wallet belonged to one of you gentlemen. Out. I beg your pardon. Out. What do you mean? This is a public place. So is the mall. No. Well, evidently you don't know who I am. Mr. Christo, don't like club touts hustling suckers in his arena. Get out. Pigs! 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 Come on. Them here. Pigs! Come on. That that's Gregorius. Who? Finest wrestler the world's ever known. Papa, please. Where are you going? Is it for this you brought me from Athens? This circus? What have you done to wrestling? Do you think I permit Nicholas to wrestle with such filth? Nah, 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 nah. Take it easy, old boy. Take it easy. You do not talk like that to my father. Get out. For this, I do not thank you, my son. Please, Papa, listen to me. You must understand that times have changed. Tastes, people, everything changes. Tomorrow morning, I'll take you and Nicholas to Liverpool. I've got everything arranged for you there. An arena, a gymnasium. I want to do only good for you, Papa. See you have a nice life now, to be near you. Tomorrow, I go back to Athens. Exhibition risk. I beg your pardon? I demand my money back, do you hear me? Easy on, easy on. Where's your ticket? It's right here. Disgusting. I've never witnessed such a spectacle. No. No, it can't be. You're not Gregorius. Gregorius the Great. You see, Nicholas, there are people who do not forget great wrestling. Forget? Forget the greatest wrestler the world has ever known? It's good to see the memory of great, noble wrestling is not dead. I thank you, young man. I thank you, sir. My name is Harry Fabian. This is Nicholas. A fine-looking lad. Thanks. Uh, do you suppose you could uh, pin a man like the uh, Strangler, say? Yes. Ah. Oh. Strangler? Nicholas pinned ten Stranglers. All in the same ring, same time. Well, well, yes, I should think he could. I, uh, I would consider it a great honor, sir, if you and Nicholas would have a drink with you. Forgive me, young man. Tonight, I am not good company. We must go to hotel and pack. Oh, just for one drink. There's a little pub right across the street. Young man, you are too charming. <laughs> Very well, young man. Fine, fine. You know, 
I have a strange feeling that our meeting tonight is, uh... Well, we'll talk over our yeah. drinks. All right. Raise your elbow. Raise your elbow, raise your elbow. Empty your glass, fill it again. Here's to the Frenchman who knew what to do with the grapes that he grew. Here's to the sun ripening the vine. Here's to the bottles holding the wine. Drink till the daylight is dawning. Here's to tomorrow Song went well tonight, didn't it? Yeah. Good idea of yours, that song. Thank you, darling. Those Americans spending as if tonight was their last on earth. Huh. Harry Fabian's still the best hustler in the business. That he is, my love. Oh, you needn't worry. Five quid won't take me far on the silver fox. Now, oh, now, now, pets. You know you can have anything you want. Anything but money. Fur coats, perfumes, good food and wines. What would you need money for? A bit of independence. Try and buy me some of that. There's something really lovely for you in there, precious. Has it been taken off the stolen property in this chip? Now, 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 Pet, you know I wouldn't let you wear anything while it was still hot. Like it, my love? Yes. Yes, it's nice. Thank you, Phil. I've long thought it appropriate that the wife of the owner of the Silver Fox should wear silver hearts. I've hit it. I've hit it. I've hit it. I've hit it. Hundreds, thousands of fortune, Fabian promotions. I've hit it, Phil. No, yeah, no. What's all this? Wrestling. All in wrestling. Hey, hey. Phil, I hold here in the palm of my hand the means to control wrestling in all London. Control wrestling? In all London. You? Me. <laughs> Dear fellow, have you ever heard of a citizen called Crystal? <laughs> You know what I got in here, Phil? Huh? Crystal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Phil, you don't understand. I've got Crystal. I've got Crystal where I want him. Gregorius, see, I've got Gregorius. Oh, dear boy. Dear boy, you'll, you'll be the death Listen, of me. Listen, Phil, hear me out. I've got Crystal stopped. Gregorius, Crystal's his son, don't you see? He's my shield, see? He won't raise a hand to his father. Gregorius will protect me from Crystal, Phil, see? I only need a few hundred... Just listen to me! You give me 400 quid, I'll make you a rich man. Make me a rich man. A rich man. Throw him out. Throw him out. Oh, no. Must be unkind to the dear boy. I have lost so much. You big businessman, Mr. Financial Wizard. Do you know what it means to earn 400 quid? Let me see you get it. Get 300. 200. Yes, why don't you get 200 of your own and put it on that desk? Uh, My husband will uh, match it, uh, right, Phil? Uh, uh, that's right. Put 200 of your own. All right, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it twice, three times 400, and I'll fling it in your face. Go on, laugh. Shake yourself to pieces. I'll show you. I'll show everybody. I'll be back with 200 new matches. I'll show you. <laughs> All I got is me money. 
And between me and me money is a kind of understanding. Like holy matrimony. Till death us do part. But I can't miss Figgler. Harry. Figgler, will you listen? I like you, Harry. Why did you settle down? Get hold of a few good beggars and put them out on the street. I'll give you all the supplies you need. Legs, eyes, stumps. What are you talking about? You can make about? a nice living out of it, Harry. Hmm? I bring you a fortune. You give me beggars. And if I had the money, I could help you, couldn't I? Right. And if I could help you, I would, wouldn't I? Right. But if you ain't got socks, you can't pull them up. Now, can you? Oh, now, Guggen, you're a man and of imagination. Will in the world. I'm just helpless. Just plain, sprawling helpless. But this is a golden opportunity, Guggen. One chance in a thousand. Invest your money where it means something. I'm just plain simple sorry, Harry. But if you want anything else, I can print you a passport, birth certificate, medical license. Just ask old Guggen and it's yours. And that's how it is, Harry. But Anna, listen, I can give You're you everything you... are your time and mine. Anna O'Leary's got only one business. Balance of the nylons. Good. I could do with another 50,000 cigarettes. Ah, cigarettes, stockings. This is big, Anna. One business. And that don't call for me putting 200 quid into another man's game. But it's the chance of a lifetime. Anna O'Leary don't take no chances. I'm a hard-working, hard-headed businesswoman. Oh, now look, you don't want to spend the rest of your life living like this, do you? Shady deals hiding on the river. You can live with me, Anna. It's a life of ease and plenty for you. I'm taking great pleasure in bidding you good night. Helen? Is that you, Helen? No, it's me, Mary. Oh, Mary. Why don't you go home, Mary? Oh, I'm just waiting for Harry, Mr. Nostrus. He'll be along soon. Oh, yes. Helen must have slipped out for a breath of air. She, she's got a slight headache. Harry's probably still working. <laughs> no stopping Harry once he gets started. Hello, Molly. Hello, Mary. Time for a little nourishment. Mr. Nostrus. Yes, Mary? Perhaps it's best if I do go on home. Would you please tell Harry when he comes? Very well. I'll tell Harry when he comes. Good night, Mr. Nostrum. Good night, Mary. Good night, Mary. Good night, Mary, dear. Adam, what a remarkable coincidence. All coincidences are, especially this one. I was here two hours preparing it. You going home alone? Oh, no, no. I just came out here to wait for Harry. He'll be along any minute now. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. He calls for me every night. Just that he's been very busy tonight. He's had a lot of parties. He's been working hard. Yes, I know. Oh, Adam. Don't be smart. You are going to wait for Harry, and you know it. You were going home alone. What if I were? If Harry's not here, he's got a good reason for it. Well, that I'm sure of. Look, Adam, I don't like you talking down your nose about Harry. You don't know him. No. It's all right for you. You're secure. You know where you're going. Harry's had none of the things you've had. Home, education, friends. He's been on his own ever since he was a kid. And he's fighting the only way he knows to keep his head up. If he's hurt me, it's because he's been hurt. Mary. But he's kind, Adam, and generous. I know. I was Mary. alone in London with no one. Nothing. What am I going to do? Take me home. Please take me home. Apparently there's a book in been looking for you, Harry. I'm in the drop dead. <laughs> We sell drinks here, Harry. 
gin. How's trade, Big Rick? Say, uh, listen to no, I don't want a life of ease and plenty. I think you drink. And drink it quietly. And don't mess about with my customers. Oh, look, Dave, right? Now look here, Harry. Thank you, Mrs. Nasseris. Thank you very much for slicing my throat. For playing the loving wife, looking out for her husband's interests. Huh? Well, you don't fool Harry Fabian. I know every twist and turn in your scheming brain. Oh, yes. I'm watching every penny, just so... What do you think you're doing? How's Mary? You leave Mary alone, do you hear? She's fine with me. You married the boss, didn't you? You went on and up. But I think of you. Yeah, you certainly showed it tonight. Put 200 on that desk. My husband will match it. Thank you, Mrs. Nasserus. No. Good night. Harry. 200 quid. Now take it to Phil and get his. Come on, he never let you have a shilling. Where'd you get it? Never mind. Just listen closely and do as I tell you. Yeah, sure, Helen. Anything you say, anything you say. You show that to Phil. He'll give you the 200 quid that I made him promise you. Helen, you're a wonder and no mistake. And you won't regret this, I promise you. I promise you that, I promise you. Fabian promotions. Fabian wrestling There'll will be, be the... no wrestling. Huh? I've got a nightclub. What? Yes, my own. Bought a year ago. Flamenco's old club. Flamenco's closed down, struck off by the police for two years. That's why I got it on credit. In another year, all I have to do is to put up five shillings for a license, and I'm in business. But I can't wait another day. That's what the money's for, a license. And you're the only man I know who can get it. Oh, but listen, Helen, if Phil gives me the 200, it's got to be for the wrestling. That's right. But you'll just go through the motions till we're ready to open the pub. But Phil's no easy mark. I know. I'm going to give you... You're crazy, Helen. You don't know what I've got. I've got Gregorius a shield. I've got Crystal Stop Cold. I can control wrestling in London. I'm through hustling for nightclubs for you or for anybody else. For yourself. What do you think Phil takes in an evening? Never less than a hundred quid. And who do you think runs the place for him? I do, me. I know how to make a club spin. Who is it? We're looking for a Mr. Harry Fabian. He's not here. Place is closed. Go away. Mr. Christo sent us. Oh, sorry, forgive me. It is I who must ask you to forgive this intrusion, sir. But it is imperative that I have a few words with Mr. Harry Fabian. What? I understand he is employed by you, sir. Well, in a manner of speaking, he works on commission, but I should hardly... Ah, yes, quite. To... My name, sir, is Chilk. Fergus Chilk. I am Mr. Christo's personal solicitor. This is Mr. Yosh. He also is employed by Mr. Christo. Well, if there's anything I can do for Mr. Christo... Oh, yes, quite. Thank you. Mr. Christo is disturbed. Yes, disturbed. Word has reached him that a certain Harry Fabian is about to engage in the promotion of wrestling. It is Mr. Christo's opinion, sir, that this Mr. Fabian would find such a venture unprofitable. I can assure you that Mr. Christo need have no concern. Tonight, Mr. Fabian is pleased to regard himself as a great sports promoter. Tomorrow, he will undoubtedly own Covent Garden. He is given to these uh, flights of fancy. Oh, yes, quite. Mr. Christo has found it necessary to leave for Liverpool on business. Therefore, it might prove fruitful if Mr. Fabian called on me for a brief talk. Would you give him my card, sir? Well, I shall be delighted. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
get inside and then go and get his 200 quid. Meet me tomorrow before lunch outside Bag Rags. Bring me the 350. That leaves 50 for you to start your little wrestling stunt. How many times have I told you not to eat down here? You drop that swill and it brings mice. Clean it up and get out. Yes, my love. Still up, Pip? Come here, Helen. Oh, I'm just dead beat, Pip. I had a bit of a headache, so I walked it off. I want to talk to you. Oh, in the morning, Pip. Didn't we do well tonight, though? Oh, no. Yes, I've been thinking, Helen. I'm a rich man, richer than you know. I want to clear out, sell this place, get rid of everything. Just travel, enjoy ourselves, see a bit of the world. Bermuda, Jamaica. Mm, sounds exciting, Pip. But somehow I'm not in the mood for a holiday just now. Phil. Out. 200 quid, Phil. Right on your desk. Match it. <laughs> Didn't think I could do it, did you? Didn't think I could raise two bob. Well, there it is, 200. This is it, Phil. Put up your money, you're my partner. I'll play it square. I'll play it fair and square right down the line. <laughs> and watch our 400 quid grow, Phil. Wrestling is just the beginning. Later on, we'll, we'll branch out. You'll be proud of me. You'll be proud to say, Harry Fabian? Why, he's my partner. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll say the word, Phil. You enter out. So you really did it, didn't you, Harry? There it is. Yes, I must admit. I have underestimated you. Oh, that's all right, Phil. No hard feelings. Thank you, Harry. Yes, you have ideas, very smart ideas. There's no telling how far this will take you. <laughs> I shall be happy to back you. Very happy indeed. Two hundred pounds. And two make four. Honored to be your partner. Fine, fine. You won't regret it, Phil. I'm sure I shan't, dear boy. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be in touch with you, partner. Well, Harry, your silent partner. For private reasons, I prefer the business to be in your name. Oh, just my name? Yes. Now, remember, nobody must know about my connection for private reasons. The business is to be in your name. Well, all right, Phil. If that's the way you want it. That's the way I want it. Hello, stranger. Bad. Bad, 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 Nicholas. Like so you will do? Here, take my wrist like so. Hold it. Now try it. This place is for wrestlers. I pay half crown and I have ticket. If I pay my money, I can come in. There's your money. Now, please leave. Go on, go on, we're busy.
Charlie, don't ever let him in again. I told you to keep all that Cristo gang out of here. Yes, sir. All right, boys, let's get back to work. Let's get on with it. Come on, Nicholas, better have a rub. He's getting cool. That's it. Bend your backs, boys. Bend your backs. Mr. Fabian. Yes. Right there, son. Thank you. What's that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Boy. Uh, yes, sir? There you are, son. Thank you, sir. Mr. Fabian, Mr. Christo. Yes, I... Uh, how, how do you do? I have here the copy of a contract. I've read it with great interest. Mr. Choke is going to read it to you. Agreed. Strand Arena Limited agrees to let to Harry Fabian... Uh, that is you, Harry Fabian. Uh, yes, yes. ...the facilities of its arena for the purpose of exhibiting a wrestling match on June the 15th of the above-dated year, when said Harry Fabian will present one Nicholas versus Svensson, the Viking. Uh, June the 15th, that's uh, four days from now. It would seem that I've returned to London without too many days to spare. <laughs> it is further agreed that said Harry Fabian will make to Strand Arena Limited the final payment of 100 pounds no later than three days before the said exhibition, namely June the 12th of about dated year. It is... Yes, uh, Nicholas versus Svensson, a fine voice, fine voice. I, I, I expect a big crowd. Oh, it's nothing like your stuff. It's real Greco-Roman wrestling. I, I'd be honored, Mr. Christo, if you came. Go away, Mr. Fabian. Go to Montreal, which is in Canada. There you can promote wrestling. In London, you cannot. I say it, Mr. Fabian. Then I suggest you say it to my partner. Mr. Christo, my partner. Mr. Christo has made an interesting suggestion that we go to Montreal because we can't promote wrestling in London. What do you think, Gregorius? Mr. Christo says there's no room for you in London. Papa, you did not go home. What do you want? I... I want to talk to you, now. I have nothing to hear from you. I beg you to listen. You must not get mixed up with this, this club tout. If you would say something good about Mr. Fabian, then I worry. Papa, please, everybody in London knows what he is. He'll swindle you, he'll cheat you, he'll break your heart. You have break my heart. He is my partner and my friend. Stay away from him, my son. When you lift your hand to him, you strike me. Very sharp, Mr. Fabian. You've done a very sharp thing. Maybe even sharp enough to cut your throat. You've made my father believe in you, but I know you. Born a hustler, you will die a hustler. All right. But you promised him clean wrestling. Give him clean wrestling. Do not betray that wonderful old man. Mr. Fabian. Good afternoon. I am Mr. Hoskins, the manager of the Royal Tudor Hotel. Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Hoskins. I'm very glad you dropped in. I've been meaning to speak to you about... Indeed. Me. I was rather under the impression that you've been deliberately avoiding me. 
My secretary has tried to reach you seven times on the telephone. Oh, well, that's very easy to explain. I must confess, I find this whole situation a trifle bizarre. In some well, peculiar manner. Really very simple. Please have the courtesy to hear me out, sir. Now, I do not quite understand how you managed it. I suppose I never shall. But you have succeeded in obtaining from my inefficient staff two suites. Two, mark you. For yourself, for Mr. Gregorius, and for an individual who seems to bear no name other than Nicholas. Oh, yes, yes. Well, you You've see, occupied my son... these rooms for three weeks now. And to date, not one penny piece has been paid. Well, you see, Mr. Hassan, You will my settle this bill, Mr. Fabian, for £287, six and threepence, in its entirety and in cash. Or else I shall be forced to turn you and your associates out of your rooms at once. And then I shall proceed turn to... Turn me out? Why, you measly eight quid a week bookkeeper, do you know who I just threw out of here? Do you know who I am? Yes. You are a cheap spin. Please, sir, listen. I haven't got a penny out of it. But I did all this on 50 quid, and look what I've done. Just look at this gym. You'll get your money, every penny of it. All my life, Mr. Hoskins, I've fought and I've waited for a chance to be somebody. And now I'm almost there. I'm doing it. But if you throw us out of the hotel, I'll lose my partner. I'll lose everything. Please, sir, I, I beg you. Just give me this one break, and I promise you, I promise you on my Mr. life... Mr. Fabian, I am not one of my inefficient staff. Unless that money is paid into my office today, I shall impound your belongings and Mr. Gregorius's. I shall then inform the police and I rather fancy you'll find yourself in slightly less comfortable quarters. Yes, yes, it's all right. He's still asleep. Oh, great stroke of luck. My connection came through. You've got your license. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? It's going to cost you something, though. It wasn't easy to get. Oh, I knew it. If there's anybody in London who could do it, it'd be you. I'll bring the license to you in about... No, no, stay where you are. I'll meet you there. No, 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 that, that won't be necessary. You see, uh, I, uh, I, I haven't got it yet. But you just said you had it, didn't you? What are you up to, Harry? Am I going to meet you there or not? Well, all right, all right. I, I'll, I'll meet you at the court at uh, 3 o'clock. No, no, Helen, make it uh, 4 o'clock. All right, but please don't keep me waiting, Harry. I'll be there at 4 o'clock. Goodbye. Confuse me. How is it possible that you want to invest in Christo's enterprises and at the same time you're backing Harry Fabian? I don't quite understand. I know that you are Fabian's backer. Now, let's have that clear. Now, what do you really want? Harry Fabian is in my way. Harry Fabian is in my way because of you. You fed him money. I can withdraw that money. And then you will be free to deal with him. You missed the point, Mr. Noceros. It isn't your money that keeps him alive. Harry Fabian is not a competitor. As long as he keeps his promise to promote only Greco-Roman wrestling, his business failure is certain. The public simply won't buy it. But the point is, my father would still believe that Harry Fabian is an honorable man. And I can't touch him. He is unpunished. And I am not satisfied merely to see him become a hustler once again. Neither am I. Just a minute, Mr. Noceros. We haven't finished. I'll deliver Fabian to you. Your father shall learn that Harry Fabian is not an honorable man. Hello, Phil. Sorry to be late. So many things to take care of. Business, business, business. Why'd you ask me to meet you here? Why? I'm afraid of Christo. You're not. 
You bet I'm not. He came to the gym this morning. You know what he said? Go to Montreal, which is in Canada. <laughs> you know what I did? Had the bouncer toss him down the stairs. He crawled like a sewer rat. I'm sure. Now, there's just one thing more to settle, Phil. The hundred quid for the final payment in the arena. We're all set. Harry, uh, I've brought you here to tell you that I'm withdrawing from our partnership. What? Well, I'm advised that your kind of wrestling can't succeed, this Greco Roman. Won't draw fly. But you can't back out now. You've invested a lot of money. I'm sorry. I'll take the loss, and that's final. Phil, wait! Phil! Phil, wait! Why are you backing out? Everything's in the palm of my hand. Why? I refuse to throw good money out to bed. But you know what this means to me, Phil. Harry, Harry, this is my last word on the subject. Get a box office attraction, a big name, then you'll get the money. What do you mean? Well, I know nothing about wrestling, but I'm told there are men who are big draws. Men like, for instance, the Strangler. The Strangler? But I can't. Gregorius should leave me. If you don't, then I'm forced to leave you. And then where are you? Now, as I see it, Harry, your only course is to keep moving right ahead. Go on, get the strangler. That's your first problem. And then I'm sure you'll have no difficulty in persuading any wrestler to beat him. Seems to me you have no alternative. Have you? All right, I can do it. I can do it. I'll do it. But will you give me the money to get the strangler? Of course I will. I'll back you without a limit. I consider it a sound investment, dear boy. All right. Gin for me. Hello, Bear. What's a good word? Well, hello to you. Hey, words all over town that you made Christo turn tail. How'd you do it? Brains, chum, brains and guts. Hey, there's no stopping you now, eh, Harry? Never was. Where's the strangler? Yeah, he's joined Madame La Poche circus for dinner. Look at him. Ain't he a cute sight? Yes, very cute. Very cute. Uh, Bear, uh... How much do you get for the Strangler when he fights for Crystal? Well, it all depends, Harry. Sometimes 50 it... quid, that's what you get. All right, now that I've shown you managers that Christo's all bubble and squeak, I'm ready to throw a little business your way. Uh -huh. Next week, the Strangler fights for me, 100 quid. Hey, you ain't in such a cushy spot after all, are you, Harry? You really need the Strangler, don't you? 200 quid, Harry. All right, all right, 200 it is. The Strangler fights Nicholas. Nicholas? Hey, that's a good show. Yeah, but how are you going to make old Gregorius swallow that? Don't look surprised at anything that happens. Come on, keep your mouth shut. No. I'd do it to oblige you, Beer, but Gregorius wouldn't let the Strangler within 10 feet of him. You know what he did to him this morning? Threw him out of the gym. <laughs> the Strangler fight Nicholas? Why, that clown isn't fit to breathe the same air as Nicholas. Hey, you, I kill Nicholas. I break him in pieces. Well, hello, Strangler. You kill, you break. <laughs> he didn't do it this morning. Your boy is quite a comedian, Peter. I saw Nicholas take one step toward him. Your boy turned white and took two steps back. I step back from that dancing boy. Next time I see him, I'll you kill him. You see him now, brave man. He's at the gym. Why don't you drop in? Oh, yes, 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 I know. You're having dinner. If I move here, you give me wrist lock. If you move here, I give you headlock. Move. 
Be a brave boy. Move. Hello, boys. Why don't you both move? It's time to go home. No, 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 no. Just a few minutes rest, but plenty work. Hey, man, what's the matter with you, crazy? You, Nicholas, I trust you. Take now, look, I threw you out of here once. Call me clown. Don't be... We don't want you here. Get out, though. Come and fight, dancing boy. What are you waiting to, afraid? Get out. There. Take him away and get him out of here. You, you old woman. Why don't you let him fight me? Come, fight. Wait. Wait. All right. All right. Right, you fighting. Nicholas will fight you. But a match in public with a referee. Gregorius, we've got to show him. Once and for all, we've got to show him. We'll let Nicholas break this clown in half. Yes. I let my boy crush you. Crush me? Beer! Boy. Beer! Take your boy in my arms. I'll be in in a minute. Gregorius, it's the only way. We'll let Nicholas finish him and his whole cheap circus, once and for all. Once and for all. Hurry your... Hurry your sensational. You're a wonder. Do you know what you've just done? Why, you've just cooked up the biggest wrestling match London will ever see. <laughs> How'd you do it, boy? Just brains and guts. Yeah, you're clever, Harry, and no mistake. Yes, and you're quick, too. How quick can you pay me that 200 quid? Mickey, hold your breath. Be back by the time you read the contract with the 200 quid. Have yourself a drink. Here, use my pen to sign it. Harry, boy, I don't know how you do it. Beauty versus the beast, yesterday versus today. You get 1,000% on your money. I told you never to come here. I told you I'm not the trouble. the strangler. Is this the truth? He's at the gym right now with his manager. Go ahead and see for yourself. Call my office. Temple Bar, 0001. Ha-ha! <laughs> 0001. Yes, sir! Strangler. the strangler and he's in your gymnasium at the moment that's right wonderful harry you really are a wonder no mistake <laughs> i knew i could count on you sure hello uh, mr nostrus here i want to talk to mr christo please thank you i'll hold up christo yes dear boy christo there comes a time when a lad must learn the true facts of life and death. Well, dear boy, your time has come. What do you say? You see, Christo and I are old friends. Consequently, I feel it my duty to tell him about the strangler. What do you say? I'm saying that nobody, nobody cuts in on Philip Nosseros. No, dear boy, I am not giving you 200 quid. I am giving you the sharp edge of the knife. Hello? I'll wait. You've been trying to kill me. I have. Why? Because you're a thief. You tried to steal something from me. Helen? Helen? Oh, no, 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 Phil. Listen to me. It's crazy. Put down that phone. Put that phone down. I don't want Helen. She means nothing to me. Nothing. She gave you the money. Yes, but I, I, I took it because I was desperate, Phil. You wouldn't listen to me, remember? But I didn't cross you, Phil. I played it straight with you. Hello? Oh, well, find him, please. It's very urgent. Tell him to go at once to Fabian's gymnasium. He'll find the strangler there. Phil! Phil! Now, please don't make a scene. You committed a crime against me, but it'll be Christo who'll punish you for betraying his father. Now, just leave quietly. Like the little gentleman you've always wanted to be. <laughs> so you think you've done me in, huh? <laughs> well, you're wrong. I have a little information for you, dear boy. 
The old man, Gregorius, he's standing by me. Yes, he wants Nicholas to fight the Strangler. I made him want it. He wants it. You are a wonder. You did it. And now you can get rich. You've got Christo stopped. You've got the Strangler. And Gregorius is on your side. It's a wonderful situation. Because you've got it all. But you can't put the fight on because you don't have the money and there isn't a man in all London who'll let you have a shilling. You've got it all. But you're a dead man, Harry Fabian. A dead man. Where can I drop you? I've got to go to Harry. I'm afraid he's in trouble. Harry, will you get to him much sooner if you just walk back to your flat? I can understand. Yes, he just went by me like all the devils of Basin were after him. Never mind. What is it, Mary? What's happened? Is there something I could do? Adam, don't come up. Not now. you're doing? You're killing me. You're killing me and yourself. I beg you. I beg you, don't do it to us, Harry. Harry, don't! It's not money you're taking. I won't let you do it. I won't let you do it to us! Listen to Papa. He knows what is good for you. Dio. Trace. That's, That's your idea for running away. Let me. Hang on. Stop that. Me? Come away from there. I only watch to learn from Nicholas good wrestling. I said come away from there. All that. right, Mickey. All right. Let him make a good grudge fight. Come on. Sign. Give. It's a natural, Harry. A sellout show. Maybe I should have a cut of it. Maybe you need a manager. <laughs> Sign. Thank you. Nicholas, my name for dancing boy. Oh, please, Nicholas, please. Get out. Go teach a woman. I crush you like. Oh, wait. I break you on my chicken bone. Yeah, that's enough of that. Get behind old man, shoeshine boy. Gregorius the Great. I'm gonna get out of there. Greatest wrestler the world has ever known. He never lose. 
Never lose. He never wrestles. Stop it! Stand in the ring and make so wrestling joke. Nicholas, let me go. No. Let me go! Oh. Get out of here! Get, get out of here! Let me go! Let me go! Nicholas, I told you to get out! Get out! Nicholas, please! Gregorius, Nicholas' wrist is broken! It's broken, Gregorius' wrist! Maniac! Hey, man! Hey, man, come out of that! Oh, God! Here, we gotta stop him! We gotta stop him! You can't. That's what I do to your clowns. I'm all right. Please lie down, Papa. My son, close the window. It's called the wind. to close window. Please, close window is cold.
Hermes, my I'll call him on the stairs. Where is Fabian? Where is Fabian? He went away before. Now, please, Mr. Christo. It was Fabian. I didn't know what he was up to. Fabian did it all. He went to work on the strangler. He needled him. He, he insulted him. He, he brought him here. He gave him whiskey. What? He pushed the strangler into it. Why, he drove him so crazy he didn't know what he was doing. Please, Mr. Christo. We had no idea I that... I want Fabian. Get the word around. The East End, Soho, the Embankment. A thousand pounds for the man who gets Fabian. I want him. Success. It doesn't matter now that I cut my finger opening the tin. <laughs> You're always around when I need you, aren't you, Adam? That's because you always say such nice things about my cooking. Let's eat. You mind if I invite myself? No, please do. Service for two. I beg your pardon. I was told I might find Mr. Fabian here. May I ask who you are? Uh, my name, sir, is Fergus Chilk. What do you want with Mr. Fabian? I'm employed by Mr. Christo, who urgently wants to see him. He's not here. Do you mind if I look in the other room? We certainly do mind. Get out of here now. Get out of here. I'll call the police. Well, please forgive Mr. Yosh. In his anxiety to find Mr. Fabian, he forgets his manners. The gentleman says that Mr. Fabian is not here, so obviously he is not. Here's my card, sir. You can reach me here. If he should turn up. You will greatly oblige, Mr. Christo, if you will let us know at once. I will not let you know. I don't care to oblige you or Mr. Christo. Perhaps you would, if there was a thousand pounds in it for you. What do you mean? Again, Mr. Yosh is too enthusiastic. I apologize for disturbing you. Thank you. Good night. Adam, what does it mean? 
It means we've got to find Harry before they do. He must be in terrible trouble. Now, quick, Mary, think, think. Where can he be? Where can he be? Well, he might be in a hundred places. Bag rags, coolie cellar, Guggen's, the penny bluff, Figless, the blind horse. Between the two of us, we'll try them all. Come on. I'll just get my coat. Jenny, ring for the police. He's yes. out of here. Get out. First they'll find out. You hide him, you hide murder. What are you talking about? Nobody say I killed Gregorius. Fabian kill him. Yes, I'm all right. Jerry's phoning for the police. Oh, never mind. Uh, told to clear up the mess. That's a bit of an ape. On the contrary, he's a friend of mine. A very particular and dear friend of mine. Yes, sir. What is it, Pet? I'm leaving you, Phil. Hello. You'll be all right. A week will go by, a month. You'll be all right. Helen, how will you live? I've been making plans for a long time, Phil. Now I'm set. I'm in business with Harry Fabian. No, Helen. You don't know what you're walking into. I know what I'm walking out of. Helen, believe me. Believe me, there's no future with Fabian. I'll make one. I know Fabian, and I'll control him. I... I've been good to you. I've done everything for you. I love you. Oh, for goodness sake, Phil, at least say goodbye like a man. Good night, Constable. What's up? Oh, Constable, there you are. <laughs> My name is Reeves. I'm with that construction crew. Oh, yeah. We're putting up some lamp platforms so we can load a few lorries with cement from the exhibition site. I suppose you've got permission of the owner, sir? Oh, yes, yes. The superintendent's taking care of all that. You see, I had in mind to take our platform... Look at those chaps in the car. They're not with you? No, they're not with our company. Might be lawyers. I'll have a word with them. Yes, do no harm. This time of night, you never know. That's right, sir. Can I help you, gentlemen? Ah, uh, well, we seem to be lost. We've been driving around and around. Uh, can you tell me how to get to York Road? At 40 yards, on the other side there.
in the shot now. engineer from the office. Oh, I don't know. Where's the phone? Here. Up in the shack, sir. Up in the shack. Yes, I know, Harry. I heard. Where are you? It's only a few minutes away. Please, Figler. Please let me come. Yeah, sure. Come right away, Harry boy. You'll be safe here. Oh, thanks, Figler. Thanks. Hello. Hello, Figler here. Let me talk to Mr. Quisto. Find him. Tell him to phone me at once. Urgent. No, no, no. I don't trust nobody. I ain't doing business with nobody but Mr. Quisto himself. Not for 1,000 quid, I ain't. Figler. Figler. Harry. Didn't expect you so quick. Thanks, Figler. Sorry to drag you out a bit. You didn't. I have some work to do. You poor chap. Dead beat. Dead beat, ain't you? Water's nearly boiling. Soon have some tea. You need a little bit of life in you. And then you can go upstairs and rest. Thanks, Figler. Always glad to help a friend. Hard on this instrument, Burgess. He don't give it the care it wants. That's right. Just lay there and rest. Just lay there and rest. Keep his glass filled. There'll be a waiter at your elbow all the time. Oh. Good evening, officer. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, your pardon. I have this place listed as being struck off for another year, and I've had no word from the station. You will have. Here. This your regular beat? I hope so, ma'am. 
just finished training school last month. Well, good for you. Let's have a drink to celebrate it. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. A police constable on duty is oh, not permitted come to. Come on. You can't be breaking many rules with a little ginger ale. We're opening here on Saturday night. You certainly can't refuse to wish me luck. Thank you, ma'am. All the best. Well, uh, everything seems to be in order. I'll just make a note of the serial number. Where did you obtain this license, ma'am? I'm afraid this is not in order. I shall have to take it up and deliver it to the authorities of Bow Street. I'm sure you'll be able to explain everything at the police court. I'm sorry, ma'am. Good night. I'd come back. Oh, forgive me, Phil. I was out of my mind. I didn't mean those things. I... Take me back, Phil. I'll be good to you. I'll do everything for you. I'll look after you. Let's make that trip, Phil. Oh, it'll be wonderful. Phil, take me back. Please take me back. Phil, give me another chance. Good as new. Feel all right now. I think I'll move. Where? Why? It's getting light. I gotta get out of London. I'll use a back way. You're crazy, Eddie. Not tonight. Tonight the old underworld's after you. Stay here. You're safe here. No, thanks. One of your beggars will pop in. It'll be all over. I won't let him see you. I won't let him in. I'll lock the door. That's right. I'll lock the door. Then no one will come in. What I mean, Eddie, stay here. Go upstairs. I'll nip up and have a look round. And if I see anybody, I'll tip you off. I'll come and tell you. OK, Harry. You're right. One of my beggars might come in. I'll nip out and get me lorry. I'll hide you in the back. Yes, this is Figler. Yes. Yes, I did. No, I can't. I can't. Yes, of course I do. Yes, sir. That would be a bit difficult. Yes. Yes. Right on the premises. How much are you selling me for? How are you?
who's there? Harry. Hello, Ed. It's no good coming to me. I can't help you. Nobody can help you. I don't want any help. I just want to... I just want to sit down and rest. I can't run anymore. Come on in. You're a sorry sight. Come on. Don't do much good. I know the river front's alive. Just alive. Hungry? No. Yes, Daddy. All my life I've been running from welfare officers, thugs, my father. See? There they are. They're on the bridge. I'm a dead man. Has told me that. He told me. He said, You've got it all. But you're a dead man, Harry Fabian. Mary said it too. She said it. She said, You're killing me and you're killing yourself. Oh, I know the things I did. The things I did. She loved me. Such a nice kid. She loved me. Oh, the things I did. I've been looking for you every way. Mary. You gotta get out of London, Harry. I got some money for you. Don't, don't be kind to me. Maybe it was all my fault, Harry. I didn't know how to help you. No woman could love anybody like I loved you. But you, you kept me shut out from so much. I couldn't keep up with you. Oh, Harry. Harry. You could have been anything. You worked harder than any ten men. But the wrong things. Always the wrong things. Listen, listen, I've got an idea. Harry Fabian's not through yet. 
I always promised you a life of ease and plenty, didn't I? Well, I can still make you. Ouch. The money I took from you, that's chickadee. Now listen, pay attention. There's a reward for my head, a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. Oh, Harry, don't Now, out you go on the bridge. Christo's there, but he doesn't know where I am. Oh, Harry. You tell him where I am, and it's a thousand quid oh, for you. Oh, Harry, it's Somebody's got to collect. No, Mary, for the first time in my life, it's a foolproof idea. Don't you see? Pay her the double back! <laughs> 